Hello, 911. What is your emergency? I'm being chased right now. I'm in my car. I need an officer or somebody to come out and help me. Do you know who's chasing you? Yes, they've been really bothering me, and they've threatened me a few times before my family. It's been like six months now. What is your approximate location? I'm driving on Highway 34 going towards Mendota, and I'm taking this curve right... Oh, son of a bitch! Sir, are you all right? Sir, are you all right? Hi, my name is Lucas, and um, I'm going to start documenting some stuff uh, as of now because, see, I'm on my way home from college. I just graduated from my freshman year of college. I'm uh, coming home. I'm going back to live for now with my um, with my grandmother and my mom, you see, because um, my mom is living with my grandmother as well because, uh, well, my mom just got out of an abusive relationship it was pretty bad and uh now yeah so she moved back and now they're going off to go see some more family that my mom hasn't gotten to see for a while because you know he didn't want her to be around her family right so uh i'm gonna be by myself at the house for 10 days they're going on the vacation for 10 days and the reason i'm explaining all this is because see my mom and i are very big uh believers in the paranormal we've we've experienced many things ourselves and we kind of investigate uh and we, we try our best but um the day before they left there some weird crap happened that uh my mom is convinced there might be something paranormal to it and i'm not convinced because of the way he told it to me uh it's not that i believe she's lying but i think there was a mix-up you see she told me the day before they left, uh, something got moved uh, to a different spot, and my grandma blamed it on my mom, right? And uh, my mom, of course, denied it because she doesn't think she doesn't remember moving it, and then my grandma doesn't remember moving it either. So it's a he said or she said she said, I guess. And she wonders she wants me while she's gone to try and do a little bit of documentation and see if I can. And if, if I can figure out if there's actually anything there to begin with and try uh, reporting back to her when she gets back so then we can try to deal with it if it needs to be dealt with. But uh, like I said, I doubt that there's anything paranormal going on. He, like as much as I believe the stuff, my mom, uh, she is too quick to believe things. She uh, She's not um, reasonable enough, I believe, or sensible. She's not sensible enough in those situations. She jumps to conclusions too quickly. Uh, so I'm going to try and investigate stuff while I'm there. And if you're seeing this, that means something probably came of it, which uh, that, that I'll upload it on YouTube or something. That's probably where you're watching it. But uh, yeah, so I'll show you a tour of the property when I get there. And then uh, 
uh, I'll let everything kind of take off from there. Okay, I'm going to try giving you a tour of the house as quick as I possibly can. I'm going to try not to dwindle or dilly-dally around. Okay. Kitchen. Bathroom. Dining room. And no, it's not autumn. My grandma just really likes autumn decorations. Family room. Got an art desk over there because uh, I'm kind of an artist. But I'm not going to talk too much about that. Of course, I got my, my dog Lucky over here. Good boy. And here is the living room. There's Lucky again. And like I said, my grandma just really likes autumn decorations. Got his own little spot to lay over there. This is my room, or it was. I mean, I'm going to be sleeping here now that I'm back home. And yes, I have a lot of monster stuff. It's kind of a hobby to collect the cans. Yeah, I'm such a Kyle, right? Screw you, haters. <laughs> and yeah, I like Dragon Ball. Get over yourself. Anime is cool now. Get over it. It's not the most deep anime, but I still like it. And yeah, I like, yeah, I like Nerf. Get over it. And yes, those are real guns. Get over it. I forgot to clarify, only those top two are real guns. This room isn't in the best of shape right now, but the, for for right now, this is my mom's room. Uh, since she just moved back and got out of the abusive relationship, all we have right now is a blow-up mattress. She lost her actual mattress and everything and uh, the whole separation. And I had a whole bunch of stuff in here of my own stuff and we had to move it out and put it in different places. So now it's kind of just, it's all over the place. So it'll get looking better over time when they get back. And this is my grandma's room. Hey there guys. I just, I'm up sitting up here at my local fast stop gas station and um i thought of a little tidbit i want to add here so that you guys can understand why i'm taking this investigation so personally like sure my mom told me to do it but the thing is my grandma is a skeptic and i would really like to convince her and if there's anything actually happening at my house uh this would be the best chance to do it because well I'm going to be there for 10 days. That's the longest I would have ever been at a location that I had activity. And uh, you're probably wondering, why don't I just put a bunch of cameras up around the house? Well, you see, uh, this isn't paranormal activity, okay? <laughs> I, I don't have those resources those people did. Uh, I can't afford that. All I can do is get, turn my phone camera on and point it around wherever I can uh, find or whenever I hear stuff. But, uh, um... You see, I actually have a few acquaintances, uh, or maybe even friends, uh, I don't talk to them a whole lot, but, uh, they, I could bring them in for this, because they also have some equipment, but I'm not sure if I should, because my grandma doesn't know them very well, I have a hard time believing she would take their word for something over mine and if they're trying to add in perspectives that might be slightly different from how they experienced it it'll be harder for her to take it as a something serious and because they can be kind of goofy sometimes uh, uh no offense to you guys if you're watching this <laughs> you know who you are um uh, but i uh i hope that's i hope i can really do this because this would bring our family closer together not that it was really bad from the beginning or anything but i it would it'd be a big step in the right direction okay so it's the end of the day of my first day being home and uh nothing really happened today which is kind of what i was expecting but um you know, you can't really just walk into a place, whether it be the, the reported, some of the most reportedly haunted places in the world or your own home and have things happen to you as, as soon as you get there. It's not, it's not that easy. However, though, just, just, uh, to, um, to try to take this seriously, you know, show that I am, I went ahead and 
made kind of a suspects list. I went on my computer in uh, Microsoft Word and I made a list of five possible suspects for this activity. Number one being nothing because I'm thinking maybe my, as I already said, maybe my mom and my grandma got into a little bit of a mix up where they, one of them moved something and forgot that they did. And then my grandma, yeah, blamed it on my mom. And either, yeah, my mom didn't remember doing it if she did do it, or my grandma did it and doesn't remember she did it. So that, that's that's number one. And then number two is human entities for, um, you know, that's probably my bet for the most uh, possible source of the activity, if there is activity. Uh, because human entities are probably the most common source of activity you'll find anywhere. Then there's number three, demonic entities. This is what I'm really hoping it's not because there'd be such a, there would be such a process and just a, a lot of drama and crazy shit to try to get rid of it, if it's even here. Because, you know, my mom and I have gone ghost hunting a lot of places and I, I don't know if maybe we could have brought something home with us and now it's just kind of rearing its ugly head. Just like I said, I'm hoping that's what it's not. I'm hoping that's, yeah, what it isn't. Number four, poltergeist. And when I say poltergeist, forget what you have learned from movies and stuff. Like the the, the 80s, that popular uh, 1980s movie poltergeist, that's a very poor representation because poltergeists were never alive. They were, we believe today, poltergeists are brought on by physical trauma and just overall a lot of uh, negative emotions from uh, a, a person and I, I'm not gonna lie this seems like a very good case for possible being possibly being a poltergeist because see my mom like I said she just separated from her boyfriend and her boyfriend put her through a lot of stuff he was he was kind of he was abusive so may, maybe all this trauma is making her develop a poltergeist and that's what moved the stuff because it it would follow her around however i know poltergeists are able to um they are able to go other places not they're not necessarily um attached to their uh person who who um brought them on at least not for its entire life it, it can go other places once it's fully developed and then number five is psychokinesis and yeah, that's basically just uh, kind of like the stuff in the movie Carrie. You know, she had a kind of this awakening of like her traumas and shit where she can move things with her mind. And this is for whether it be intentional or unintentional. Unintentional, excuse me. And uh, the reason uh, there's actually an example for why I believe this this could also be the case because see my mom one time I witnessed this happen one time my mom was grabbing a glass out of our drink cabinet or our yeah our glass cabinet and she pulled it out I was watching her do it the thing busted into a million pieces in her hand all the pieces dropped down to the counter her hand was unscathed and the glass was just everywhere like like the thing just had like an internal combustion or something and I and like I said this did not fall and then break it broke and then fall out and out of nowhere so I'm thinking that might have been like some kind of psychic energy that she emitted and it uh broke that glass but um right now I don't have enough evidence to cross anything off the list yet so I'll get back to that and I'll just keep an eye out and uh I'll update on that as soon as I can. So it seems that uh, the garage doors are both open for some reason. I didn't leave them that way last night. So is the, the main door in between. Okay, good. Both the cars are still there. My grandma would be pissed if those were gone. Everything looks fine. Sorry about the clutter. Hmm. 
That's my table. That's my table saw. And my grinder. Somebody in here? <sighs> Windows are locked. Oh, so is that one. Nobody in there. Nobody in there. <sighs> Guess I was wrong. There might actually be something here. <sighs> okay, so you just saw what happened. I was out in the shed because I saw the garage doors were open. I went out to go investigate that. And as soon as the garage doors closed, once they were done closing, my table saw and my grinder turned on in the other room. I went out there. Nobody was out there. I was, com I was completely alone. Did not hear a single vehicle drive off, like anybody escaped or anything like that. So because that just happened, I can now cross two things off my list. The first being nothing, because if something happened, it obviously can't be nothing. And the second thing that I can cross off is uh, psychokinesis. Because um, psychokinesis, from what, it, from what we think we understand, it doesn't have a, a long range like that. It can only really happen in the vicinity around the person who's emitting it, right? And... My mom is miles and miles away from here with my grandma seeing my, you know, some more family because, you know, they haven't seen each other in a while since she left with that asshole. But, uh, and, um, I mean, I think my mom might still have psychokinesis, but I don't think it's causing the activity here because things obviously wouldn't have just happened if, 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 uh, that was the case. But, so, I'll, I'll, keep an eye out again and see if I can keep narrowing it down but I'm I'm on a roll right now so this is good okay so I'm getting ready to I'm going to try and see if I can get any type of response uh, to the activity that I just caught out in the um, out in the shed out there with the table saw and stuff going off I'm gonna ask a few questions and see if I get anything I'm not I'm not sure what I'm gonna find but I'm gonna try I got Lucky sitting over here breathing, you're probably going to hear him. Okay, so I'm going to start recording. I got the EMF detector and I got the digital recorder. It says, please wait. It, it'll be recording in just a moment. Okay, it's recording. Okay, so is there an entity here with me? Ooh. Is that you? Hmm. Okay, so if I'll look back, is if so, do you have something against me? Ooh, that's interesting. If if you do, why is that? Okay. And also, can you tell me how you got here? Just so you know, this isn't the digital recorder doing this. Look, I just took it over here and the, the thing, it's still going. Oh, okay, it's gone now. Oh, 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 it's still going, still going. Is, are you done? I, I get oh and I think I think I'll be done now. Hmm. This is interesting. I'm gonna have to review 
this and see if I caught anything. Okay, I just I just listened back to the digital recorder from the session I just did and I have I have a, hardly anything I don't I don't know what to say. It's I've never heard anything like this before. Listen. And it, it literally does that for the entire thing. It's all distorted and like wavy, weird, warping crap. I some type of interference or something. I've never, ever heard anything like that before. Okay, so my close friend, Joe, or Joseph, whatever you want to call him, just uh, called and asked if I wanted to go kayaking today because it seems nice. So I uh, got to get my kayak off the rack up there. I got a ladder here. Here he is, guys. Uh, man, how you been doing, man? Pretty good. How about you? Been doing fine. It's been a, been a while. Oh, you got Gatorade too. Good. Yeah. <laughs> right. Hmm. So, uh, I'm wondering. If, apparently, it's. It looks like it's gonna storm now, but it's gonna be a little sunny later. Um. Yeah, let's. Uh. When was the last time we did this? Like. <laughs> Like, got yeah, like quite a while ago. It's been a while, hasn't it? Well, go ahead and pull in here. We'll get my kayak on top of yours. Kayaking in the rain. Probably not a good idea, but we're doing it anyway. Adventure! First accident of the trip! <laughs> Whoa. Ha, there's your problem. Ugh. Uh, I gotta undo the little knob back there. About to get back on the water now. <laughs> hey, at least it's clean. Yeah. I think this is where we're getting out. Oh, yeah. That too. Yeah, yeah, that's it. It's got those big concrete pillars. Okay. So, yeah, I'm gonna have to uh, text my uncle and uh, have him come pick us up. Actually, I hear a vehicle right now. That can't be him. I mean, no, I wouldn't. I haven't even texted him yet. He probably. I mean, uh, it's about to be on the bridge. We'll see who it is. Um, like nobody was there. <laughs> okay. So I just got back from the kayaking trip. Joe already left because him and I stood outside talking for a while and um I seem to have a little bit of a shit displaced here. See, I, I had the door locked. I locked the door. And uh the table here is upside down. That was a pretty heavy table. This is tilted off to the side a little bit. Holy shit. These are just... Huh. Family room looks okay. These are just... At, so out of place. Move with... Ooh. So this is supposed to be over there. This is this couch is supposed to be moved over here a little bit more. This 
table's supposed to be here in the middle of the floor. And that's uh that's not good. So that's that definitely allows me to cross some things off the list. <sighs> okay, so this is still my second day home. I went on a kayaking trip with Joe, and now that I've come back, uh, I you know the recap of what you just saw is that all, all a lot of these big things in the house were just they were moved in some pretty um, awkward ways, and I that means I can cross uh, human entities off the list because. From what we think we understand, like more often than not, it's very it's, the vast majority of human entities don't possess the strength to to lift or move that many things. I mean, sure, moving one big thing, it's kind of you know it's debatable, but moving that many big things with, with that much weight, that's that's ridiculous. So now I'm down to two things that I was really hoping it wasn't going to come to. I was hoping I could cross some stuff off. Like, I was hoping I could cross the two that I didn't like off. I'm now down to, uh, poltergeists and, um, demons. And, yeah, the, I already discussed what's wrong with doing, trying to get rid of demons, like, probably, or no, I don't know if I went through the whole thing, but, like, yeah, it would just, it'd be a lot of, it'd be a pain in the met, or it'd be a pain in the ass, but getting rid of a poltergeist isn't great either, because it would take a lot of therapy to try to help you deal with your emotions, and hopefully over time it's supposed to make the entity deteriorate, so it will stop existing, right? And... That's all we can hope for. I hope, um, it, personally, if it would, if I could do it, or not if I can do it, personally, if I had a choice, I would hope it would be a poltergeist instead, because of, um, was that, I think the way to getting rid of it might be a little easier, uh, maybe not, I, it depends on if if it's demonic, and if it's only attached to the house, exercising the house would be easier than exercising a person. And I don't, if it was, if it was attached to one of my mom or my grandma, which I doubt, it would probably would have went with them. Probably wouldn't be back here still fucking with me. But yeah, I'll, I'll keep trying to update and figure things out. Okay. Okay. So this is the third day I'm, I'm home. I, I just woke up. Not too long ago, and uh, I decided to call my mom and my grandma to look into the poltergeist theory, and I tried talking to them about their emotions and exactly how they're feeling, and I tried to make sure, I'm just, just please be as honest with me as you can, because it's kind of integral to this, and I, I, I'm not sure. I'm on the fence, if I, whether I, because they, they seemed pretty happy. But I know that women like to mask their emotions a lot. Uh, I mean, not just women in general, just people. Like, they don't, a lot of people don't like to let people know how the, how they feel, right? And it's hard to know if if it could be a poltergeist or a demon at this point if I can't if I can't trust what they're telling me. So for now. Um, Instead of uh, focusing on whether it's a poltergeist or not, I'm going to try to focus on whether it's a demon or not. Because if I can't find stuff to say whether it's a demon or not, if, if there's any evidence of that, then I can probably cross that off and it'll leave me with uh, poltergeist. And I don't have to worry about their word that they give me. So, I'll, uh, I'll keep updating this like like i've said i'll keep doing it i'm always going to be doing these updates in my bedroom because the camera positioning looks pretty good on my dresser here so yeah that's it for now
<laughs> oh yeah, he got oh he he's got he got a nice stick. Yeah. So you ready to do this? Oh yeah, more than ready. Got my light, nice little five shot Ruger here. Okay, it sounds fun, but um. Just, just double checking. You, you understand the law is that uh, you have to be at least 21 years or older to uh, even carry um, uh, or, like any handgun of any kind uh, in your vehicle with you. I mean, let alone um, conceal carry. So, you, we, if somebody had just happened to come along who was going to snitch, you know, be, be a snitch on us, they could uh, get us in trouble for having a revolver with us. Yeah. You know, we're only we're only 19. But we're at your house, and my parents are just down the road. You know, so, I mean, we can't really, we can just say it's yours. I guess, I, I guess, I guess we, I guess we could. We're on private property, so, I mean. Yeah, I guess. I mean, shit, like, who, who's going to yell at us? Yeah. Just, just, you know, my, my, uh, my anxiety, I guess. Yeah. Okay, well, we got to go in and get my, uh, right, guns now. Put mine on the table over there. Okay, okay, so. We're getting, we're setting up to shoot. Uh, we got like eight water bottles, two CO2 cartridges, and just an old, uh, basically eroding metal uh, burn pit thing that my grandma had me get rid of. That's why we built that burn pit. The, the bigger one, Joseph and I built that bigger stone one over there. Uh, we're going to shoot all this stuff. I mean, I know it has nothing to do with the investigation, and this is just a bunch of extra crap, but... I'm the one making it, so I can do whatever I want. And so you're just going to have to watch it or just whatever. We're going to do it. So hearing protection and eye protection are always going to be worn. <laughs> okay. Okay. Joe's just going to start off with, the, with his little revolver here. Why not? Uh, green bottle. Hold on. You can... Get into the view of the camera a little more. Green bottle. <laughs> so. Hmm. You need to sight that thing in. I think I do. I, I've seen you hit things with, with a handgun before, just not this one. Now, this is probably where it's going to be the best reaction. That was fun. Shoot the, yeah, shoot the. Now, try, while, while you still have some, try to shoot the CO2 cartridge. Ah! Damn it. Oh. I can pause it real quick and we can reload the Ruger and try to uh, shoot the burn pit a little bit more. Okay, take two with the revolver. Joseph's going to try again and uh, hit that last bottle that's left. There you go, Joseph. CO2, maybe? Yeah, try shooting the CO2 if you can. I doubt it. I think that's the last one, isn't it? One more? Maybe one more. Nope. Just kidding. Out. Okay, it's up. But not safe. Yeah. So, um, 
seems Joseph did actually hit one of those few two cartridges with the with the 22, but it wasn't powerful enough to go through, which I'm surprised because I've shot one of these before with a 22, and they've it's blown open. Seems like somebody's coming down the road. I don't. I don't see anybody ever coming from either direction. Hold on. I don't. No, nobody's coming. It's it's, it's about to pass the proper. I can. It's getting really loud. Like it's about to pass. Nothing. Not, yeah. Like it's it's already sounds like it passed us. It's not. There's nothing there. I don't know what the hell that was. I mean, like it's like. Just like the, it's just like what happened at the bridge. Do you want to go to Fast Stop maybe and sit up there for a while? Yeah. Get something to drink. Yeah, sounds good. Lucky. Good boy. So, I mean, do you have any idea, I mean, I mean, I know you're not somebody who knows much about the, the paranormal, but I, I need like some, I need some like, opinions, do you have any idea what, the, what this could be? <laughs> yes. God hates you, and it's a demon. Well, uh, thanks for the reassurance, but the way it is right now, I, that's really what I hope it's not, you know? Uh, <laughs> Yeah. Hey. Shit. Did you jump in there? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, hold on. <laughs> so, uh, uh, here's an old friend of mine, uh, an ex actually, and um, she, she, she just stopped, she, we're, no, we're, 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 we're cool, it's, it's fine, but uh, <laughs> did you notice uh, how I'm, I'm a little bit more jumpy than usual? <laughs> Oh, um, there's actually, there, yeah, there is, there is a really good reason for that. Uh, do, do you have a few minutes? You, you can sit, you can sit down. I can tell you all about it. Okay, okay. tell me what you ju just told me. I need it for evidence purposes, I guess you could say. What, 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 what did you, you, you said you saw something coming? Uh, yeah, I was driving by your house the other day, and there were, like, a bunch of really weird lights in the property, like, next to your house. Like, like, fla flashlights, or do you... Something like that, I don't know, orbs, or... I mean, because it, it, it'd be kind of hard to tell what, what type of lights it, because trees are, like, literally surrounded. You can't even, if when you're inside the house, you can't even see, like, 20, yeah, you can't see the road in front of it. So, I mean. Yeah, I don't know what it could have been. Well. Shit, I mean. Probably should go investigate that. Yeah. Uh, are you guys <laughs> down for one more? Uh. Sure, why not? The more the merrier, I guess. More eyes to look for evidence, if that makes sense. Hey, everybody, I just forgot to uh, say, uh, um, I introduced all you to Maddie. You already met Joseph. He's over there grabbing his uh, headlamp. Got to make a quick pit stop, and I'm grabbing some flashlights ourselves. We're all going to get in my vehicle, and we're going to go over there and look and see what's going on. to defend yourself. You should have brought mine, Joseph. You should have told me. What the hell do we got back here? We got, got a badass back here with a pocket. Oh, I should cut a bitch. I should <laughs> cut a bitch. <laughs> uh, Let's not say we did. Let's not and say we did. Oh. Let's go, bitches. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a, a cool piece of... Tr uh, hold my phone, Joseph, please. No, I shall. Cool piece of trivia here. Uh, this house was uh it actually predates no no excuse me my uh my grandma's house here actually predates um that house over there uh it was my grandma's house has been here since at least uh the 1840s um uh but but the house next to it came in like the uh 1870s um and apparently the people who uh built that house over there actually were um <laughs> oh that was a nice joke <laughs> yeah probably the people who built the big house over there actually were living here while they were building the house so that they could move over there but 
it used to be so beautiful. You're gonna see inside how beautiful it used to look. You well, can, you, you, uh, it'll under, be trash. Oh yeah, underneath of all the all the trashed shit that all the all those assholes went in there and decided to screw it up. Uh, what did they do like graffiti? Um, no. there actually is some graffiti in some places, but it's kind of faded. But some like, you know, the the drywall is busted in some places. The yeah, no, yeah, no trespass. <laughs> yeah. uh, you know, uh, late, the, the, well, the guy who owns this house, like, she, she barely, nobody barely even knows who he is. He lives up in Chicago. Oh. What? She's actually visiting this. Time. He's actually visiting. <laughs> the last time I was here was probably like two years ago. But, uh, that's um. See, there's a little bit of. Usually, we park right here, but I'm, what I'm going to do just instead is. I'm not going to go all the way through. I'm just going to kind of park right in the opening of this little trail right here. All right. One more swig of Monster for courage. Great. Liquid courage. Oh, yeah. Cheers, Lucas. Cheers. <laughs> yeah, hold on. <laughs> Joseph, would you like your machete? Nah, you can carry it if you And see, I'm not going to do the stupid thing. I'm not going to leave the keys there. I'm taking the keys with me so nobody can steal that. <laughs> Fantastic. Lock the car as well. Hey, Joseph, you can be prepared for vampires. Vampire killer. <laughs> We ain't no bitch. <laughs> the seizure setting on this flashlight makes this very unsettling. <laughs> <laughs> well, so far this looks. This is about how it normally looks. There's nothing. <laughs> Shut this. Yeah. But see, this is what I'm talking about. All these assholes come in here and they decide, uh, since nobody or, like, the person who owns this isn't even around, they can just fuck with everything and not get in trouble, which, you know, they're not wrong, but it's not. <laughs> right. It's just, this place is so old, it kind of deserves respect. Yeah. yeah. It looks but, like the original, like, nice. park, hey? Park it was. Cool. Was that bit last time? Oh, yeah, it was. Okay. I don't remember. I need to watch my video again. That's from a little while ago, wasn't it? Quite a few years ago. This would be a rad house. If it was like Fixed up? It would take like freaking like $20 million or something to fix the oh, whole yeah, thing. This would be expensive as hell. See, the, the basement. The basement's right. <laughs> there. Lead the way. Are you, are you sure? You're, you're the one with the pocket knife. I'm the one with the mini machetes. Oh, there's two. Yeah, the staircases. Yeah. Three? The, yeah, yeah. There's there's three staircases. Yeah, come over here. Look look real quick. You'll see there's two staircases. And, uh, what? Uh, looks like we got look, we got a little bit of pornography. Um, it's not an abandoned house without pornography. Raunchy. Well, uh, wh wh whoever was in here, because a, a, a little while ago, there was actually a homeless guy who yeah. <laughs> lived in here. So, you know, I'm assuming, you know. Had to keep himself busy. Yeah, you got, had to keep himself company. You had to be, shit, you're homeless. What are you doing? You got to be doing something. Hey, Oh, do, yeah, don't touch that bag. That's, that's okay. We came in here one time. That's just freaking dirty diapers in there. Somebody had a kid in here and like they couldn't. Uh, yeah. Yes, yeah, shit. I want to see if I can find my friend if he's still here. What friend? My friend. My dead friend. Oh, that. Oh, yeah, yeah. I know what you're talking about. Hey. Hey, Maddie, I, I got something to show you. Come, come, look, come look at this. <laughs> yeah. No. Oh, oh no. He's looking worse. 
Uh, yeah. Aww. Yeah, he's a. That's so cool. Yeah, yeah, he's been. I think that was a guy. <laughs> sure. Uh, yeah. I know it's like mummified. Well, I mean, because you know, what, well, how many wild animals really come in here to feast on things? Hey, look at cool backpack. Right, we already looked through it. Well, like a few years ago, it was already. It's already here. I mean, we we looked through it a few years ago. Yeah. Yeah. Look, the the found not the foundation, the ceiling totally. Yeah. As a person who just recently had to look at a bunch of houses and guess how much it'll cost to fix, this house is fucked. Yeah, exactly. The mirror's all messed up and see, like this. See, then that's the thing. I don't know. These are like. Computer racks. Yeah. but. And what's all and what's all of this stuff? I've always wondered what this is supposed to be. More shelving, I'm guessing. Yeah. Like See, somebody threw a pot out the window. A pot? Yeah. No. A pot. Pan pot. Oh, pan pot. Pots and pans. Pots. Uh huh. I know, cause it, it was so beautiful. And this is only the first floor. See, look here's. Mm, the railing, like, I think this is what those... <laughs> oh, yeah, it was the basement. Like, they had grow lights and they had little pan like little things down there. I'm uncomfortable with the amount of holes in the floor. And they're praying out. Somebody decided they had to... Like I said, everybody's being an asshole. They decided they had to break the railing and just be a total piece of shit. More railing. <laughs> this is a pretty nice shower for a. Oh, well, the rest of it's broken toilet. I don't think that was broken the last time I was here either. God, these idiots. I mean, hey, toilet plunger's still intact. Because this toilet plunger's still intact, you're safe. Okay. Yeah, it's good. Really? <laughs> you really want to film that? Nope. And see, this is where I think... Creepy hallway. That wasn't that the last time, was it? That, uh, I don't, I don't remember. Oh yeah, hey, Maddie, when you come over here, don't walk around this because this is rotted to hell. It's just if you weren't trying to pay hard enough attention, you probably wouldn't have seen it the first time. Come on, let me. Oh, one time we came in here. Somebody, it seemed like somebody was hiding some shit right here. There was like a bag that had like hard drives in it, <laughs> or some some type of like computer uh, component, like a some type of data storage. <laughs> That's what I thought. See, and some, somebody tried writing hell on, on uh, this here. Like, they tried scraping it in. And see, this is where that staircase that we saw when we first kind of came in comes up to. Yep, right there. Okay. This is weird. But cool. Yes. Can I go in here? Sure. We actually brought some stuff home one time when my mom and I went in here. We, I found a little, some little jars that I, I thought I liked. Oh. Yeah, because it's full of shit. Did you look at that? Oh, legit shit. Yeah, legit shit. <laughs> 
Yeah, there's probably something living in here. Raccoon. Yeah. I mean, this poor friend's dead down too. Well, it's been there for years. Is it a Holly Bibble? <laughs> <It is. laughs> Holy Bible. It's a Holly Bibble. Well, hey, there's, there's a bunch of pictures and books and shit laying Those around up in the attic it. when you get up there. It's broken. Why are they only shitting on these little platforms? I don't know. Okay, fine. The final floor. Add it. Fantastic. What? You guys heard something? Yeah. It sounded like footsteps. Where? Like on on this floor? The. Oh, down here. I'll go. Yeah. I'll keep Joseph safe. <laughs> Yeah, we know he can't defend himself. Just kidding. <laughs> huh. I can still hear them talking down there. <laughs> I don't. I almost walked through that. I forgot that was there. It's all rotted right there. You know, the back in the day, the women would get up here and let the wind dry their hair. Them? Oh yeah, that's gotta be I can hear footsteps. So what the hell was it? Guys? What the f well this isn't any different from the shit I've actually experienced before, so uh, that doesn't creep me out. Whew. So you clearly just saw, I had some disembodied footsteps there. I hear him again. Hello? What are you? Can you tell me? Show yourself! You'll see me soon enough. What the f... Shit, 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 shit. Gotta go tell them. That was awesome. Shit, disembodied voices are right on her quest. That's awesome. I can hear noises down there. It's probably them. I'm giving you another chance. Show yourself. Maddie? Joseph? Who the fuck are they?
Maddie, Joseph? Why, why, why the hell weren't you guys responding to me like at all? I was shouting for you guys. Oh, I didn't hear you. Yeah, I didn't hear you. Sorry. <laughs> uh, uh, okay, why were you out here in the barn? I, I told you guys were coming downstairs to listen, like, because you heard some noises in the house. Why are you out here in the barn? Nature. I, I mean, we were just talking. Yeah. Should, should we tell him? Yeah. So, okay. I mean, um, I'm listening. Me and Joseph have uh, kind of been seeing each other for the past six months. I'm okay. I, I. You're not mad. No. Oh. Like, we were together three years ago. You really think I care uh, anymore? I mean, I'm not. I'm not one of those. I'm not one of those idiots who's like, you can never date my former girlfriend of mine. Like, even like my best friend in the world. You know, I just want you guys to be happy. You know, but shit, I, I gotta. We'll, we'll talk about this later. I gotta tell you what the hell just happened in there. That's pretty terrifying. I get, we we can go. I mean, if oh. you guys are. Oh, hold, hold on. We uh, can can you point out exactly where he saw those lights? That were were they like over there? Like, I mean, were were they? Because see, this trail goes over a little farther. Do you know if they were over farther? I mean, I think so. I think so. Yeah. Okay. Well. Because, see, there, there's still a bit of this property we haven't examined. Let's, let's get over there and then look and see if there's anything else peculiar. Find something like, like what? My only problem with that is it looks like something, whatever it was, picked up the grass and threw it. This is this is grass from the bed here. Something picked it up. So yeah, it's got to be a, a person probably made this. And it's like a... what the? Well, hold on. Let me get out of here. I feel like I'm take like four hours to do this. I, I, don't, I don't think so. I mean, it's, it's only, it's, it's kind of small. I mean, it's... It's kind of hard to tell, but it looks like it has five points on it, like a like a uh, pentagon. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, pen pentagon. A really bad pentagram. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, I guess it could have been that somebody tried to cover it up. I mean, but see, the problem with why the hell wouldn't you just do it in the house? I mean, why why would you do it out here in the in, in, in the middle of the grass? I mean, wouldn't it make more sense to to do it where you can draw it on the ground or something. See, the problem, even if it was a pentagram, we would have no sense, because you see, the way, what makes it a pentagram is when it's turned upside down to uh, look like the head of uh, the goat man, but we have no idea where the direction is with this thing. Hold, hold on. Can, can I have your light for a second? This one's got a big, like a blotch in the center. I'm trying to 
point out how it looks more like a... Because, see, this kind of looks like a point right here. This looks like a point right here. This is this is flat for a little bit. A point right here. A point right here. And then another point. And... Huh. Wait, wait. Shh. Maybe just st stop. No, stop. Stop moving. I. I hear somebody's walking towards us. Should we go? Yeah. Keep going. Oh, oh I almost tripped. <laughs> I, I, I know, I know, I'm... I didn't see anyone. So yeah, no here. shit. No. I didn't see anything either. Thank you. What is going on? Clear. Clear. Safe driving 101. Always look both directions. I did. I don't think this is the time for safe driving 101. Oh. Are we just gonna ignore what just happened? No! Maybe. <sighs> One I thing I know is I'm out of shape. I'll agree with that. I didn't... I didn't see anyone in the grass either. Me neither. I heard it. We, we, all, we all heard it. Of course we heard it. I'm so glad we did not walk. Right? <sighs> okay, so. Still my third day home. And, uh. So, I just went through a pretty crazy experience. You already saw it. Maddie and Joe and I. All went over to what uh, we, my family, refers to as the Norris House, over to uh, the north of of my house here, and uh, it we found yeah we we found that weird symbol it on that concrete board. Still don't know what that is. I've done a crap ton of research right after we got home and I don't know what that means. I, I can't figure it out. I sent a picture of it to my mom. She doesn't know what it is. Um oh yeah, but um I, I talked to Maddie and Joe about it. They said, see the reason that wasn't there when we first walked through is because when they went downstairs and they ended up trying to get be by themselves, they actually were still looking around a little bit and then Joe looked behind that concrete board and saw that that symbol was back there. So they turned it around. So that's why it was there after uh, I came downstairs, right? And um, but when I was still upstairs, then yeah, we heard. I heard those. I heard that disembodied voice say to me, uh, "You'll see me soon enough." Which I'm, you know, that that was honestly kind of 
that was really ominous. It's very, it's very uh, cryptic. I really don't know when, uh, I don't know, I don't know how soon enough it is going to be. I don't know when that'll be, but, um, and yeah, but after, and then also we heard of the, we, we found that little area in the grass and see, I'm convinced that, um, that is, like I said before in the video, I think somebody did rituals, maybe with like a pentagram type, type something pushed down into the grass that, and they did like a ritual of some sort, but then afterwards to try to cover it up, they stamped it down and, uh, whatever they summoned, whether they were trying to do it on purpose or not, it found its way over here. Cause that's not, that's not very far. It probably found its way here. And now it's just screwing with me because it probably doesn't have much to do. It just got some and it wants something to do. So, um, after that experience, I, uh, I borrowed some, uh, I'm, I'm gonna try and borrow some crucifixes from Joe because his dad's a pastor. And, er, whether it be a crucifix or just crosses, I'm gonna put them up, uh, whatever I can get my hands on. And hopefully, that'll work, but, uh, oh, and also, I also, I, I forgot to mention, or bring back up that, yeah, I also heard disembodied footsteps running at me up there, like, the, I heard it coming up the stairs, too, over at the Norris house, too, so, yeah, that's another thing, but, um, yeah, if it weren't for Maddie giving us clues to go over to the Norris house, I probably wouldn't have thought of it, but, you know, thank God for her. Okay, just to specify, because I wasn't specific enough, the reason I'm bringing in the crosses or crucifixes, I'm not planning on having that be a full fix. I want that to just be a way to stabilize the activity and suppress it until we can decide what we want to do, you know, get it get it um, under wraps for a little bit, you know? So, more updates later. Okay, so, I, uh, this is the fourth day I'm home, just woke up, and, uh, I, I already put the crosses up that I borrowed from Joe's parents. I did it last night and it, it feels a little better, like a, a, quite a bit better, it seems. Um, but we, we got another issue. I let Lucky out to the bathroom last night and he never came back. So I, I can only, I can only speculate that I'm wondering, because it seems a little bit too coincidental that it's around this point in time. I find all that crap over at the Norris house. And by the way, Maddie and Joe are like convinced now that that place is haunted. I don't believe that it is because I've been there a lot and that's never happened. Like, I don't believe that hauntings of locations actually exist. They only happen to people. And whenever activity happens at a place, that doesn't mean it's haunted. That just means it's inhabited. The entities are there because they want to be, right? They're not haunting the location, but that's not the point. But, uh, <sighs> lucky, I'm, I'm really hoping that maybe, uh, he didn't, you know, get kidnapped. Cause see, I'm wondering if he might've gotten dog napped. Maybe by the, maybe there were actually people spying on us that we went over there. Uh, maybe the people who did the summoning, Maybe they did this on purpose. Maybe they want to get back at me for like trying to counteract what they're doing. So they're, so they took Lucky and I, <sighs> Lucky was, he, he's such a great dog. I don't want anything bad to happen to him, you know, a little shit out of him. I've had him since he was a puppy and shit if, if they're if they come in here tr trying to like do shit and and if i if i figure out if they if they did do that and j just just in case though i'm gonna go searching around make sure he doesn't um he doesn't uh reappear maybe he's maybe he just happened to ran off or excuse me maybe he just happened to run off but the reason i don't believe that is because he's never run off before he's been very good about sticking around the house but I'll, I'll go take a look, and and I'll I'll see if I can find him. I'll go to his favorite places, and if I 
cancel. I don't, I don't, I don't know what I'm going to do. Okay, so I just got home after trying to look for Lucky, and, well, I, I found a little note on the inside of my door that says, you'll see him soon enough. I have a suspicion that maybe Joe is trying to play a trick on me. Cause he knows that Lucky's gone, so I'm gonna I, I gotta I gotta freaking call him and see if he's not screwing with me. Okay, so I'm about to give Joe a call to make sure he's not screwing with me after I found that note on the front door that says you'll see him soon enough. So I need to make sure I'm I'm filming this on my secondary camera and I got my phone right here that I've been using to film for this whole thing up until this point. Just gotta call him and make sure that uh these uh not screwing with me, so it's ringing. Hey, yeah, hey, are you fucking with me? I want you to tell the truth right now. Are you screwing with me right now? Because if you are, I don't, I don't, I would want you to tell me the truth. Well, specifically, what's going on is uh, I found a, I found a note uh, on my front door that says uh, you'll see him soon enough, and I thought that'd be something that you would think was funny, right? Because um. Well, you know Lucky's gone. And I thought maybe you would think that was funny to hang that shit up, thinking maybe I, I would just, you know, considering everything that's going on, I I'd get freaked out by that. But, uh, you promise? You, you didn't do it? Okay. Okay, I believe you. Yeah, I'll let you know when I find him, if I do. Yeah, bye. Talk to you later. Okay, so, yeah, he says he didn't do it, as you can probably tell. I, I believe him. He doesn't... He usually will fess up to a joke most of the time, and I don't... I didn't sense any, uh... Um deception in his voice he sounded pretty sincere but yeah so i think that means somebody took him somebody else okay so i'm sitting here at my kitchen counter and i'm going to try and repeat the test that i did the first time that got me that weird interference just crazy warping whatever you want to call it uh, of the digital uh, recorder, or uh, of uh, the EVP session I did. So I'm going to, yeah, repeat the test by asking the same four questions to see if it invokes the same response. And uh, got the EMF detector set up right here. And also, yeah, the digital recorder, I'm gonna start recording. Okay, it says, please wait. It's starting. Okay, I, I set it down. And my first question is, is there an entity here with me? If so, do you have something against me? If you do, why is that? Also, can you tell me how you even got here? Okay, so that squealing noise, that's, uh, that's the um, uh, Keurig coffee machine back there, so nothing supernatural about that, but the EMF detector hasn't gone off at all the way it did before. Okay, I think that I'll be done with the recording. Okay, so I'll listen back to that in just a moment, but since the EMF detector didn't go off, that means the entities either aren't around me because, see, I put the crosses up 
and if uh, if they're working that means they should either be so suppressed that they can't affect the equipment or they just can't be around me in this room because I have a cross hanging above the bathroom door and I'll listen back to that and if I don't hear it then I'll assume uh, it's working so yeah I'll do an update on that okay so I listened back to the digital recorder I didn't hear a thing and I brought the I even brought the EMF detector over with me when I did it. I hooked it up to the computer and listened to it and nothing showed up and the EMF detector never went off either. So I think it's safe to say the activity is stable for now and now that I'm confident about that I can actually take a shower in peace and not worry about it so I gotta I gotta do that right now and then uh I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get to bed and hopefully I'll actually get some sleep this time. Okay, so I just got out of the shower and I'm just, I'm speechless. That that damn, that symbol from, that I saw at the house over there, it's, it's, it's over here now. It's on, it's on the mirror. And I, I wiped this mirror clean a day ago. So it had to have happened as I was just in the shower or, or very, very recently. This is, I don't, I don't know. I put the, I put the, I put those crosses up. Those crosses should be working. They should be suppressing whatever the hell this is. What? The crosses are gone. The cross... It's... I... Wait, oh! It's, it's gone. This is, this is just, that sounded like glass tapping. What? They would work if we were demons. No, 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 no! This isn't good! Uh... <laughs> Here they... This... This... We've... We lost the key to this over a year ago. I can't even get in there. I'm gonna fucking get out of here. Okay, so... Yesterday... I didn't sleep, like, last night, I didn't sleep in the house at all last night. I came back here, it's, it's morning time. I went to Joe's last night after the crap that happened last night, because the crucifixes, they're not working. So, so that means either these entities are way too strong, and that maybe they're just to, like, screw with me, because, like, they put that note inside of that cabinet, they, they said, you know, that they're not really demons, or maybe they're not, but see if they're not, then, excuse me, I don't know if that means that it is a poltergeist, uh, like my mom, uh, had attached to her, but, but, if, if that's the case, then what the hell was all that stuff at the Norris house? What, what, what was all, all that weird stuff? What did that grass circle mean? It was too, too perfect. It wasn't, uh, like, there, there's just, I, I don't know what to think. I mean, I'm, I'm really, I'm really conflicted. All I know is that, see, I'm just coming back here in the mornings so that I can hopefully see if the people who, who I believe took Lucky are going to bring him back. Like, may, maybe, I don't know, cause, uh, since I got that note yesterday that says I'll see him 
soon enough because of um I believe yeah that's referring to Lucky like they're saying I'm gonna see my dog soon enough so I'm yeah I'm just staying here during the day like I said in case he shows back up but every time it starts to get nighttime and it's time for me to you know go go to bed I go back to Joe's I don't trust that anything was a I don't I don't trust sleeping in this house after the crap that's happening. But see, that's the thing. I, when I went to Joe's, I didn't really feel like anything followed me. If they did, they just didn't feel like bothering me and they didn't they didn't feel, they didn't like emit a presence that made me feel like they were there, which uh would surprise me honestly if they couldn't follow me because then that's also another kind of weird aspect of it if it was a poltergeist it probably if it was fully developed poltergeist it could follow me anywhere right but then demons should also be able to follow me anywhere or maybe maybe that maybe the demon or if it is a demon if it's just lying to me like i said this is all confusing if it is a demon maybe it can only come this far away from where it was summoned for for, for some kind of weird rules or something like i i don't know what to think this is just, there's just all just a bunch of crazy crap and i have no idea what what those phantom car noises Joe, Joe and I were hearing that we heard at the bridge and we heard outside our house? I have no idea what that has to do with any of this. This is this is crazy. Like I, all my years investigating ghostly things with my mom, I've I've never had anything this crazy or or this much stuff consistently keep going on where I was so confused about it. But talk. Talk later, I guess. Someone down there? Wait, Natalie? Oh! What are you doing here? I got mad at Dad. I came here to see you. But, did you tell anybody where you were going? No. What? Look, I appreciate you came to see me, but you, you can't... You can't do things like that. Like, did, how did you even get here? Did you ride like that scooter or whatever out here? Yeah. I took a mini bike. You know. I just came to get a movie. I mean, I got mad at Dad, so I came here to talk to you that I was going to buy any movies. Okay. Well, well, let's, come, well, well, let's be quick about this. Uh, they're, they're all upstairs. I'll give you one of them. But once I give that movie to you, I'm gonna get going, so you better get going home. I'll come talk to you later. What's going on? Listen, there, there's somebody in the house. So, I didn't lock the door when you, or did you not lock the door when you came in? No. Okay. So, I'm so, I need you to record this. It's kind of important. But let me see. I'm sorry. People have been after me. I'm sorry. I didn't tell. I think people have been after me. I'm sorry. I didn't tell you. But why the hell wouldn't you tell me? That? I didn't want to scare you. But I just. I, mean, I gotta go downstairs and make sure there's nobody here. But. Somebody in here? Oh my god. Lucas? Yeah? Is everything okay? Seems like it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Something, something was running up the stairs. But, yeah, I, I heard that. I, I, I didn't know if that was, I didn't know if that was, uh... No, it wasn't me. <sighs> so, I'm, I'm sorry I brought you into this. I got. I gotta grab my wallet. Here, just go. I'll, I'll. I'll go talk to you. Okay. Walter. What the hell is this? 
I knocked this over, trying to rush up to see what was wrong with Natalie, but it's blood. These, these things bleed. The fuck did I put my shotgun? Where the hell is it? It was right there! The keys are gone too. And my guns! They're both gone! Fuck! Shit! Here. Fucking get to Joe's house. Are you kidding me? The keys are gone. Oh fuck. Guess I gotta run. Just got in my car. Lucas just called and said something crazy just happened. So we're on our way to meet him at the pipeline. Gotta go. All right. All right. Got the light. Don't want to wake up my parents. So. Good idea. Yeah. What happened? It's craziness. Okay. I was getting ready to come over here to spend the night at your house again because you know everything that's been happening, right? Yeah. Then then. My, my, my half sister, you, you remember her? Okay, she showed up. That's not, that's not the crazy part. She showed up and I, uh, she, I told her, you know, she, she showed up. She rode in on this little, uh, motorbike thing. I didn't want her to, to be here. I, I didn't, cause, you know, her house is pretty far away. I didn't want her to be going that far. She didn't even tell her dad where she was going. But then, she, uh, I, I told her to leave, but she wanted to borrow one of my movies first before she left so we went upstairs and while we were up there we heard footsteps downstairs and i was convinced this is one of the people who's possibly been following me one of the cult members whoever it was that did all that shit at the, at the norris house and i'm thinking i'm thinking they probably took lucky um like they're, they're the same guys uh and so i went upstairs and the door was all shut because she closed herself in I, we booked it we went downstairs and I, I told her, like, we immediately ran outside, I told her to go home, I, and, but, but before that, like, way earlier, I accidentally knocked over, uh, uh, this, this, I knocked over this vase when I ran to go see what was wrong, uh, so, the reason that ties in is because there was this, like, pool of blood, or, like, like around it, like, so, whatever, whatever these things are, they, they bleed, we're able to kill them. We need to regroup and, and think about this more. We can't go rushing in there all guns blazing. We don't know what these things are capable of. But, but that wasn't even the end of it. There's one more piece of uh, information. Th these things have the ability to actually steal things of ours. So then I went out to go run to my car. So that, that's this is why I ran. I went out to go go to my car, and then so I could, you know, get get and go to the pipeline. The keys were gone. So I, you know, I ran all the way there, which was was difficult for me, as you can imagine, because I'm kind of a fat ass. Yeah. 
Um, uh, so, uh, this, this is like, this is literally like, I, I'm wanting to look over my shoulder this whole time. I'm, if they're bleeding, I don't know what, I don't know what the hell these can be. This is getting way bigger than I ever hoped it would be. I, I don't want my grandma to have to come to home all, all this shit. You know, she's got enough problems in her life. But my mom, after what she went through with, with, with George, I don't want, I don't want any of this to fuck with her. Like, it's, it's too much stress. Yeah, I understand. But, <sighs> hear that? Sounds like him. I, I don't. I don't know. I don't know if the camera can can hear this. It's like it's very. It's on the. It's on the edge of our. It's on the edge of my hearing. Very very faint. I'm wondering. I'm wondering if they brought Lucky back. You go back, grab the guns, and go check. Even though it's probably the stupid thing to do, uh, that dog means more to our family and me than, like, people can care to think. I he, we've been through so much. I I don't I I can't leave him. We all right. Let's go get him. So, like, see, the reason I think that they, they probably brought him back is because I had that sign. I had uh, that, that that sign that was on the door, remember? I called you about it. The, yeah. The, uh, you'll see him soon. Maybe they brought him back. Now I'm not there. But, fuck, they better not have done shit to him. I'm going to get shot. Let's... Let's load up real quick, and we'll we'll, we'll, we'll creep out there, S survey, see if we can hear him still, and and if we if we think things are getting a little too dangerous, we'll we'll probably have to to, to pull back. All right. Uh, <sighs> this is probably one of the dumbest things we're about to do, but uh, do it. Uh, who are we gonna tell the cops and tell them that a bunch of fucking demons were in my house or some shit? That they're gonna, you know, what they're gonna do. If we told them that, they're, they're going to be like, stop doing crack, you fucking druggy, and they're going to come apprehend us and think that we're, like, a danger to ourselves and others. Hold on, we got... God, I'm get, we're getting so ahead of ourselves. we got to go We got to go in your house and get the guns. We turned off the engine. We're at least, I'd say maybe a quarter of a mile from the house. We can still kind of hear him barking. So we, we're... It's pretty safe to say that's where he is. We're going to uh, approach now. I've got a... I've got a 9 millimeter pistol. Joe's got a 380 pistol, and he's also got a 12-gauge uh, shotgun with, with a three-round magazine, which we think that'll be enough. Uh, we're going to try to swoop in there, find him, get out. Here we go. Okay, here we are. Let's, let's, try, to be, let's try to be quiet. Seatbelt. Okay, take, yeah, take these, because things can take these. Okay, don't slam the door. The lights weren't even on when I left the house. It's locked. I didn't lock it when I left. Hey, is, is the door on the chicken coop open?
don't know. It is? What the fuck is that on his neck? Hmm? I can't pull it off. Okay. I'm gonna cut it. Ugh. This thing won't cut. It's like the the knife feels even duller than it did when it started. But what if we like untied where it? Uh. Where the hell is? Where's the, oh, sneak, st stand guard, like make sure nothing sneaks up on us. I, this, this is probably a fucking trap, I don't even know why we walked in here. Just, hold on just a second, let me, let me keep looking. Let me, let me keep trying to figure this thing out. It, like, it's like one piece, there's like no, there isn't even like a hinge or anything to undo it. We talking about? The uh, oh. 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 Hey. Hey. Oh. open the door. Oh. You put it on four. Okay. Oh. What the? I, I don't know. Uh. Tell me. Talk to me. They're here. They are. They're here. Who? Who? I don't know. They're here. What are you? Joe. Joe, answer me. Fucking answer me. God damn it. Fucky, are you okay? What? Lucky, where'd you go? This isn't happening. This is not happening! You gotta be kidding me. Joe? Joe, where are you? Joe, answer me! I, I can't believe this. That's where he took his... Oh, son of a bitch! God damn it! Motherfucker! What the hell are you? Tell me! I know you understand my language! Shadow people don't bleed. Yeah, you bleed. What the hell does that make you? Better not move again. You're dead.
guys. This is insane. Everything you saw just happened. Happened. I thought it was a dream. I just woke up in my bed. This is two days later. That was two days ago. I looked on my phone, because it was so vivid, I wanted to double check. The footage is still there. If they had my phone, I don't know why the footage is still there. I think they would, you would think they would have tried to delete it, but this was two fucking days. And J Joe, I, I was scared. Once I realized it was real, I was, I was scared shitless thinking, oh, do they still have Joe? So I, I, I texted him. He has been gone for the same amount of time I have, and he just woke up recently. He woke up in his clothes as well, the same, same as me, and he came downstairs. His parents were freaking out because they didn't know where he was for these past two days. They were going to file a missing persons report. He doesn't know what to tell them. I don't either. Uh, they, they know about the, the crucifixes we borrowed, which didn't work for shit, and... They, but they don't, they don't know about, the, he doesn't know what to tell him. This is all just a bunch of craziness. And everything is back to normal in the house. My guns are back. The keys are back. Uh, the keys to my car are back. Uh, Joe's vehicle was back down at his house like it was never here. And his guns that he brought were all back as well. And Lucky's back. I, I, I went down, I had an emotional moment with him because this is just so, this is, this is insane. And I, I don't know what to do. Because my, my my mom and grandma are going to be back in, in a few days. And I don't know what to tell them. I'm afraid this is going to keep happening and that it's going to endanger them. And... <sighs> Try not to cry right now. This is just... Someone's knocking on the door. Who the hell? Oh, hold on, I I gotta go check this out. 